Greetings, Earth Faith here. We're talking about end times prophecy, particularly in the Christian faith. Now, there are end times prophecies, obviously, in each of the major religions that are applicable to the Middle East. We're talking about Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. As a Christian, we do tend to follow the end times prophecies of the Christian faith, which talks about you know, basically a, an antichrist, a seven-year peace agreement, and then possibly the coming of Jesus. Because we want to know, you know, when will Jesus return? A lot of the end times prophecies that you're seeing today may be uh, tilted depending on where you live. In the United States, a lot of the end times prophecies are pro-Israel, even though uh, Christians uh, believe that uh, Jesus will convert um, the Jews uh, to Christianity. Uh, obviously, Jesus, you know, uh, being uh, taking over the world at that point would convert everybody to Christianity. So. Even though a lot of the end times prophecies are pro-Israel, supporting the building of the temple, even though the Bible says in Revelation that there is no temple in the holy city, yet Christians do support Israel in the creation of the third temple, for example, because they see these events as you know pushing forward these prophecies towards the coming of Christ. All of these pro-Israel uh, policies that Christians have are really geared towards, you know, uh, uh, bringing forth the second coming of Christ, at which time, you know, basically all bets are off and, um, and, uh, and the Christians will part with the Jews at that point on matters of faith. However, you know, Everybody is aware of this fact. Now, as far as the seven-year peace agreement, now they're talking about it in the context of the Gaza war, uh, possibly uh, the creation of a two-state solution, a uh, creation of a, sta a Palestinian state. Now, Christians are opposed to this mainly because they want to see the coming of Christ. Not that a Palestinian state would be bad for uh, Israel or for Palestine or for Christians for that matter, but it would not push forward the events towards uh, a cataclysmic uh, second coming marked by birth pangs. And when we're talking about birth pangs, we're talking about Armageddon, which is, you know, the largest, uh, the most destructive war in history. So, from an earth faith perspective, you know, be careful about these prophecies, Christian prophecies that are pro-Israel. They are not doing any good to the Jewish people. Uh, they are looking to convert the Jews at the time of the coming of Christ and using the Jews to push forward history towards that event. Earth Faith here, signing up.